the magnitude of a body plot and we want to find the transfer function using this body, body plot. So normally we have the transfer function and then we would like sketch the body plot. This time is the other way around. So what happens is that we have to see how many parts our body plot has. So the first part is actually this constant over here, which looks like that we have a constant K. So now this constant K has a magnitude of 14 decibels. If we want to find the value of k in the transfer function, what we have to do, we know that 20 log of k was equal to 14 that we have over here. Therefore, log of k is actually 14 over 20. So from here, k is equal to 10 to the power of 14 over 20. And that would give us number five. So our K is equal to five, and that's one of the parameters that we have in our transfer function, one of the terms. The other term that we have is the second part of this body plot. So the second part of this body plot starts from here and ends at here. So it starts at omega equal to five, and it ends at omega equal to 50. So it is one decade, right? From five to 50, we have one decade. Now in this one decade, how many decibels is the magnitude decreasing? It goes from 14 to negative six. So from that part, if I call this part one, and I'm gonna call here part one. Now for part two, that is this part of, oh, not three, this part of the graph, part two, the slope of this part of the graph is actually negative 20 decibels per decade. So we see that at omega equal to five, we have a pole. Why is it a pole? It's a simple pole actually, because we're going down with a negative um, slope. So we're gonna have a pole and our pole is at omega equal to five we have a simple pole at omega equal to five, and the slope is negative 20 decibel per decade. So we know that for the pole, for a simple pole, if you remember, what we have was, we had, this is the omega axis. So this is a simple pole. This is omega c, and then this slope is negative 20 n decibel per decade. And at the same time, the simple pole would be one over one plus j omega over omega c, and all of them to the power of n. So this n over here is the same as this n right now the slope is already negative 20 so we can say that n is equal to 1 and then omega c is the omega the omega that our slope changed right over here so our omega changed at 5 in our figure therefore the simple pole that we have would be 1 over 1 plus j omega over five to the power of one. So that's part two of this graph. Now in part three, what happens is that at omega equal to 50, so at omega equal to 50, the slope changed from negative 20 to negative 40 decibels per decade, right? The slope of this line over here is actually negative 40 decibels per decade because we went from 50 to 500 and the magnitude changes from negative 6 all the way to negative 46. So that is negative 40 decibels per decade. So the magnitude changes for, uh, sorry, the slope changes for one more negative 20 
decibels per decade. So that's another pole. And the, the other pole that we have would be 1 over 1 plus j omega over the omega c that we have, which is 50. Again, to the power of 1. Why to the power of 1? Because in part 2, we had a negative 20. In part 3, we had negative 40. So it technically increased the slope with for, uh, for negative 20 decibels per decade, right? So that would be a 1. I mean, to the power of 1. Now, the fourth part of this transfer function, this body plot, is actually where it became straight. So where it became straight, it means that the slope, so at part 4, the slope went from negative 40 all the way to 0 decibels, right, per decade. So when it goes from negative 40 to 0, it means that there was a slope of positive 40 added. When a slope of positive 40 is added, it means that we have a simple zero. So at omega equal to 500, we're going to have a simple zero. And the simple zero, we know that is equal to 1 plus j omega over omega c to the power of n. So if I want to draw the simple zero for you, this is how a simple zero looks like. So the graph at omega c will change its slope for 20 n decibels per decade. So think that we had the slope of negative 40 and then we reach it at omega equal to 500, then the slope became zero, which means that we have two multiply by a 20, right, of 40 decibels per decade. So the simple zero here, our simple zero would be 1 plus j omega over 500 to the power of 2. So that's my simple zero. Now I have all the terms, we can just put them all together to form our transfer function. So h of omega becomes we have k equal to 5, so that is a 5 multiplied by 1 plus j omega over 500 to the power of 2 over the two poles that we have. So one of the poles is 1 plus j omega over 5, and the other one is 1 plus j omega over 50. So that's the transfer function that we have. Now, if you want to see if you have done this right or not, you can again draw the body plot for this specific transfer function, and you will see that you will get the exact same magnitude plot. All right, so if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments down below. And I hope you liked the videos. If you, video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video.